Rebecca for Waffle TV and I'm here with the wonderfully talented puppeteers of Boris and Sergi's Vaudevillian Adventure which is showing at the Pleasance Courtyard every day at 11 o'clock. Hello, how are we? Good, so we'll just go right in there with five star reviews. Like, <laughs> but there, isn't, there hasn't been a four star that I've seen, it's all been five star reviews, so how's that? Like, I don't think any of the shows getting five star sh reviews across the board. So. Yeah. Dreams, how well we've done, really. Um, we've got six five star reviews at the moment, which I don't know, just seems unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's raving about you. I think we're joined yeah. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. That's so exciting. So, for anyone that doesn't know, just tell us a little bit about this show. <laughs> <laughs> anyone? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, Boris and Sergey are two naughty little Eastern European puppets. It's, they're Van Rappen puppets, so three people operate it, each one. Um, there's no strings, no rods, we just manipulate the limbs by holding the feet or the arm over the head. Um, we've got two head puppeteers who do the voices as well, who are Rich on Boris and Tom on Sergei. And yeah, they just do little skits and plays and impressions, and play poker with the audience, and then they go on a bit of an adventure, and it's a bit of a dark end. The idea sounds very bizarre because they're faceless, like they don't, so they obviously don't have emotion. So I mean, how do you how do you find that that, that the audience reacts to that? Because obviously everyone's talking about it, everyone's excited about it. It's amazing. They're so like everyone's talking about how they have such big <laughs> egos and they're really fun and they're kind of. But it's interesting that you've done that without emotion or facial expression. It's I mean, how do really you find that? Really strange. It's kind of. <clears throat> it's when we do, we do walk around with them and stuff and meet people before the show and they always say the same thing to them, don't they? It's like, oh, you haven't got a face, I can't really talk to you. And then after a while you talk to them and they just kind of get sucked into it. Yeah. I don't know, it's because they're so blank and because there's nothing there, I guess you can see whatever you want in <laughs> um, <clears throat> And yeah, it's all down to the physicality. Yeah, yeah. Because it's very physical, especially for all of you, because you obviously have to move and from what we've seen with people before, like, kind of walking. It's obviously um, a really very physical show. Um, how do you find that is, that you do the shows every day, how do you find it on yourselves? Do you get really tired with it, or is it just, do you just kind of get used to it? Or just, um, you, just, you spend a long, long period of time in the same position, so you yeah. cramp. <laughs> yeah. Especially the guys, uh, Elaine and Louisa, who did the legs, because they're spending all their time like that. Yeah. For a good hour, and we on the heads of the arms, and it's a little bit easier. Yeah. Stand up straight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we have some release. Um, so we've been doing it for about two years now. When we first started, we did five weeks at Theatre Souk in London, and I found that really physically demanding. Mm. But I think, yeah, my body is just a lot more used to it now. Yeah, the muscle memory, you build it up and the strength, and so it's, yeah, so that will remember being really harrowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but now, yeah, no, it's a lot. It feels, it feels like home. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the idea come from? Because it's a very, it's very unique. There's nothing else like it. I think that's maybe why people are so excited by it, because there literally is nothing else like it in the festival this year. So, yeah, where did the idea come from? Where did you go about creating? Well, Henry Maynard was first approached two years ago. He's the director and makes the puppets as well. And um, Peter Delicatessen wanted to commission him to do something with puppets because he's worked with Blind Summit before. Um, so he just made these puppets and he got a group of us together and we just worked a lot on device work and improvisation and created these characters with like Rich. So we came out with an Eastern European accent one day when we were messing around in improvisation. And yeah. Kind of really worked. Yeah, somehow stuck with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was literally just him asking, you'd stand the puppet up, wouldn't you? And you'd just ask it questions. And then say, who are you? What are you doing here? That sort of thing. And then all these weird characters developed from that. Some of them have stuck around in the show as well. Yeah. One of the shows and whatnot. Yeah. And we've had a lot of gigs in London as well, so we've been able to test out different material and kind of gauge what people enjoy. And we do a little Kate Bush sequence in the show. Yeah, I've read it. <laughs> <laughs> I've read it. And that's what everyone mentions. It's like, oh, what's the Kate Bush part? That's what everyone seems to really love. But like, I can't remember yeah. whose idea that was one day. Uh, we've been trying to figure out that. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we just looked at the choreography of the video and decided to let Boris do it in a dress. <laughs> Sort of necessary surreal moment. I, don't, I think the first time we did it had nothing to do with anything. We just kind of snotted it in there to see what would happen. 
Yeah, yeah. people always really love it. So. Yeah. 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 So how do you find the audience in Edinburgh compared to everywhere else? Because obviously with the festival, there's 2,000 some non different shows. It's, you're competing against a lot of people to get uh, ones on stage, really. How do you find the audience speak to it? I know a lot, I know people go back to see it again and they're sold out on Sunday and it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> do you get a chance to talk to everyone and see what they think about it? Yeah, we, um, Taylor, our lovely Taylor, she leaves um, comment cards and talks to everyone when they come out of the audience. So people have been writing comments and they've, like 99% have been like, that was amazing and like really nice compliments on the puppetry and you know saying it's really original piece. So I think people generally take to it really well and the audience response as well, you can kind of gauge it throughout the show. And it's interactive as well. We bring people up for a particular part of it and we're always talking to them so you always you always know how that feels. Do you ever get people who are kind of not up for it? Like if you try to get them up and they kind of go, oh, it's like a spaceless puppet. Yeah, but again, it's that strange thing if some people sit down with you. Like, usually people don't volunteer, so you have to pick on them and get them yeah. And it's really strange seeing how people go with it, because initially they, they'll sit down and you'll be talking to them, and you're obviously never looking at their face, you're just looking at this puppet's head. And then if you ask them a question, they'll always direct it yeah. at you, because asking them, and then eventually you'll just kind of see them going, oh, I'm supposed to talk to the puppet. <laughs> it's just, they get sucked in again. I think it's about focus as well, because every puppeteer focuses on their puppet. It, like, say, if we all look to that pamphlet now, you can start looking at us. So I think once they realise that no one's looking at them, the puppets looking at them, they start to kind of move their sights. Yeah. So who, who controls who? How do you do it? Do you all, like, someone, someone do lens? Yeah. Us, and you all have your specific part? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Sometimes, like, different gigs will switch around if not everyone's available, like, back in London. But yeah, for here, we're all pretty set. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to wrap up there yeah, if we're going to do. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Your show's on every night at the Bob Pleasant Courtyard. So, well, in Thank you very much, guys. I've been Rebecca for Waffle TV. Stay tuned for more videos and interviews.